Hi guys, it's Mike here um, with a little update. Well, I had a ocular migraine today again, and this one was, it was typical. Uh-oh, what's going on here? It's an accident. Maybe he broke down. Ah, he broke down. Anyway, um, there's someone there helping him. So yeah, I had an ocular migraine today. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, it, it was actually one of the typical ones I get. It's like 28 minutes and it started in the middle and zigzags and then moves to the right. Um, but this one was, was different in the fact that after it was over, I was driving to work and I was driving to work and actually I noticed a disturbance in my vision again this time it wasn't as small when it started out it was like a little bit bigger um just kind of on the right side it was still kind of squiggly and kind of like flashing and i was like oh gosh is this happening again and it was like lingering around like it would not go away i went home i went back home and i just kind of laid there i took a excedrin and um i took some of this moringa powder um i don't know my wife was telling me about moringa and um I don't know, it was some superfood or something. Anyway, so I took that and after, I would say it, it was like a total of on and off for about two hours, this thing came back. Dude, this sucks, I'm telling you. Um, nothing really hurts. I mean, I'm not like, I don't get the big headaches after. It's, they're kind of just dull in the back. I get them in the back of my head. So... You know, so I'm lucky. And again, I, I've said this in a prior video, like I really feel bad for those who get the real bad headaches. And I, I know, who am I to complain? But still, it's very stressful. I, I get so stressed out. It's like I wanted to, you know, I felt like I needed help. You know, like I needed to go to the hospital or something. You know, just because I feel like these things are controlling me. So a lot of this stuff is is psychological. Um, the You know, the bad part about it is the psychological part where just, you know, you're you're so stressed out about it. And then who knows? I mean, that could continue to trigger them more because like I do get really stressed out. The sun's like all in my face right now. Um, anyway, so I've read a lot about people taking magnesium and um, low dose aspirin, the coated type that doesn't hurt your stomach. Um, so I don't know if any of you watching this video have taken magnesium or aspirin or is there anything else that have helped these? Um, and then I'm also, I'm trying to, make sure that I understand is this ocular migraine versus scintillating scotoma. I mean, are they the same thing or what? I mean, are there two different things going on here? What I get is the zigzags. They're like lightning bolt, the reverse C type zigzags um, that start off small and then they expand and then they move to the right. Um, I think I have a little graphic in a video that I, a prior video that I did. So if you guys want to check it out, but um, anyway, I would just be um, interested to know um, if there's anything else you guys are doing out there that are watching this video that have um, eliminated or improved the frequency of these things because um, they suck. I mean, you guys all know who are watching this video have experienced these things. These things really suck. Um, so, and I haven't really found any sort of triggers that I can definitively point at. I mean, I do suspect sugar. Um, I had a lot of sugar the prior night. I mean, it's we still have Halloween candy still around at my house. And like, I, I was hungry and I saw these Snickers bars and I was like, okay, I'll have a few of these. I had like, they're the small ones, right? So I had like three or four of the smaller ones. And, um, and I had like, a one of those cliff bars that are chocolate and like mint flavor. They're really good. But, um, so I had a bunch of chocolate and I've read that chocolate is, is a trigger for a lot of people, but I had it the prior night. I mean, if it's the prior night, does that still count or is it, do you eat it and then get it the same day? I don't know. What's the time frame on triggers? That's another important question I'd like to know. Um, if for those of you who know you have triggers, how long can you ingest whatever your trigger is before you get the actual migraine? So those are the kind of things that, um, or going through my mind as I am coming here to driving to work, um, in the afternoon. Um, anyway, um, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you guys want to keep, uh, track of 
what's going on and maybe we can share some information on these uh, migraines with Aura slash ocular migraine slash scintillating sc scotoma, whichever you want to, however you want to frame this. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and um, please leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Thanks guys.